Uh -huh. You stay safe too. All right. Bye, Pope Francis. Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Tonight Show at Home Edition. Uh, here's our sign right here. Da -da -da -da. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, I, I wanted to make it a little cozy uh, to have you in my home. So this is a little huga for you guys. If you practice huga and let everything cozy, then that's what I'm giving you. Um, uh, guys, we're at day 13 of this self-quarantine. Uh, and I just want to thank you all for doing your job and staying at home. Uh, I know we don't get enough thanks for doing this stuff. So I, on behalf of my family, I just want to thank you so much for staying at home and doing your part. Um, we're going to get through this. Um, I also want to thank everyone for watching and all the great feedback that we've been getting from doing these shows. Uh, I think uh, I, I read uh, all these different charitable things have been happening. It's fantastic. Yashar Ali, I saw on Twitter, teamed up with Robin Hood to create a GoFundMe so that uh, servers can get paid even though they don't have jobs. Good for you. I love that you did that. Um, Daniel Hume, who's a great chef and a guest on our show many times uh, of the restaurant 11 Madison Park. Um, I, I saw that he, at, it's the, one of the greatest restaurants in the world. I think he got awarded greatest restaurant in the world. As of today, in New York City, it's a soup kitchen. That is awesome. Uh, so props to you, Chef Hume, and everyone at the 11 Madison Park team. That is awesome what you're doing. And, and people are seeing and hearing that you're doing it. So thank you. Um, we have a great show tonight. We have Niall Horan on the show. Uh, his new album, Heartbreak Weather, is out, and it is number one. Yay, Niall! Yay. That's awesome. Um, this is his uh, charity. He's working with Meals on Wheel, Meal, Meals on Wheels America.org. Thank you for drawing this, Winnie. I appreciate that. Um, uh, it's an amazing charity, and we'll get into that with Niall um, and talk to him later uh, in the show. Uh, but right now I want to start off the show with a new thing we're going to do because uh, everyone is quarantined right now and uh, some of this stuff you're doing online is uh, funny. And so we've seen some funny videos and I'd like to show a couple of my favorites that I've seen either on TikTok or from uh, Twitter or Facebook or wherever we found it, Instagram. Uh, and it's called What Are You Doing Wednesday? We'll try to pick our favorite three and show them every Wednesday because we're all stuck at home. What are you doing? What are you doing at home? Uh, this first one, uh, this guy, he understood the rules of self-quarantine, and that's awesome that he did that, but he still wanted to have a little party. So check this out. Chin Chin, thank you for coming. Chin Chin, Chin Chin, Chin Chin. Thank you, Chin Chin guys. Chin Chin, Chin Chin, Chin Chin. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to you, bud. Our next up, uh, this one I loved. This kid just turned 21, okay? And he obviously couldn't go to a bar to celebrate that he turned 21, he can now drink. So his parents turned their house into a club. Club quarantine. His dad played the bouncer and his mom is the bartender. Check this out. Couldn't be cooler. Uh, our last one here is called Poor Jennifer. You might have seen this. Uh, it's a Zoom meeting that uh, people are doing together. And by the way, I'm doing it as well. I never even heard of the word Zoom two weeks ago. And now I'm doing it all day long. My kids are in Zoom meetings. My wife is in Zoom. I, I'm in Zoom meetings. We're just Zooming all the time. Right, Wynn? You're Zooming? Okay. Uh, I told Wynn not to talk. You can talk if you want. Did, are, you, are you in Zoom meeting? <laughs> okay. So, uh, uh, but anyways, this is a Zoom meeting, and uh, boy, uh, uh, watch the one girl tries to sneak off to the bathroom and watch what happens. I'm told that our profession is one of the only professions that say that we like we can never get involved with a former client ever, regardless of how long it's been, versus like some other professions say a few years or whatever. I think it really depends on just like the ethical standards of the profession. And in reality, I've heard that social work kind of has very high standards and, and like, like good standards in terms of things. And that oftentimes people don't like people, 
of other professions don't have. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> what happened? I saw nothing. Oh my God. Poor Jennifer. Poor Jennifer, oh my gosh. Jennifer, if you're watching, I just gotta say, I, that is honestly amazing and you made a lot of people smile from that video. So honestly, I know it's probably embarrassing, but man, oh man, we need it right now. So thank you very much for that. That is What Are You Doing Wednesdays. <laughs> now it's time for the monologue. Hi everyone, welcome to the Tonight Show at Home edition. Well, you guys, it's Wednesday, or as that's now known, Flatten the Hump Day. Listen to this, I saw that many people in isolation are now cutting their own hair, which means pretty soon every guy is gonna look like that dude from Tiger King. I read that the most important thing you can do in isolation is keep a normal routine. For instance, I wake up at 6 a.m., I work out, I shower, I eat breakfast, I watch TV, I play with my kids, I eat lunch, and then at 7 a.m., I spend the next 10 hours screaming into a pillow. Uh, yep, the boredom is really starting to set in. For the first time in my life, when I download an app, I actually read the terms and conditions. <laughs> Guys, I can hear you. Thank you. I read that parents are trying to figure out their kids' apps are educational. Here's how you can tell. If they never open the app, it's educational. Uh, here's some good news. China just announced that they're lifting the lockdown of, the, of Wuhan on April 8th. Yep, President Xi said he wants China back open for Passover. Check this out. I heard that... Thank you, guys. Check this out. I heard that both Keith Urban and John Legend held free virtual concerts online. Or maybe that's just an urban legend. There's no audience here, but I somehow heard 300 people groaning. <laughs> Finally, this is pretty amazing. A research drone caught an overhead shot of a blue whale sneezing. Even more impressive, the dolphin next to him uh, who yelled, Damn it, Carl, sneeze into your flipper. That's our monologue, everybody. Uh, hey, I had the opportunity to interview my man Niall Horan, who has a new album called Heartbreak Weather. Uh, and he told me all about that and some other stuff. So here's Niall Horan. Yay! Yay! Jimmy! I love you now. I love you, buddy. I'm so good to see you, man. You too, man. How's it going? It's, uh, it's going well. It's just it's so interesting. Uh, what weird times. Strange, strange times. But we'll where where are you, buddy? I'm sitting in my, in my apartment in London. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for uh, calling in or Zooming in. I didn't know how much Zooming I'd be doing, but I'm Zooming every day now. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. I've never Zoomed in my life, but here we are. Look at this. Look at this goal. <laughs> a couple of Zoomers, a couple of uh, <laughs> Zoomers. What have you been doing to, uh, to, to keep your time while you're staying home? Uh, I've just been, I sat in this position a lot, a piano. I've got my guitar here. Uh, and I've just been sitting, I wrote a couple of tunes. Uh, Definitely finding it uh, relatively hard to get motivated when all I can do is sit in my living room. Um, but uh, wrote a few tunes, been doing a bit of cooking for myself. Uh, I've, ne I've got really bad knees and I've never ran before. I ran about 15k this week, uh, just doing 5k runs in the park on my own every day, uh, just to get out of the house. And apart from that, general lounging. Looks like you're having a lot more fun than me. <laughs> yeah, I'm, try I'm trying to, yeah. I don't know if I can do that much uh, exercise. I'll, I'll, I'll pass out. What, what is the, what's the quarantine, the quarantine nickname? Do you know this? It's a, it's a meme. It's a, it's, a, it's a feeling plus what you ate. Is that what it is? I would, yeah, okay. I've heard about this, yeah. I've seen this yesterday. Okay, so I'm feeling great. I'm feeling happy. So I'm happy. And I had, I had salmon for lunch. So happy salmon. Dude, you're not gonna believe this. I swear to God, I feel happy, and I had salmon for lunch. <laughs> Come on! We're blood brothers. We're happy <laughs> salmon, dude. I can't believe this. I wish I was lying. I'm telling things. I, uh, this is uh, this is bizarre. We're linked We've, forever, man. 
Love you. Love you, bud. <laughs> That's so rad. Oh, my gosh. Hey, congrats on the, uh, on the album, by the way. Uh, I know last time I talked to you, I was like, this is going to be number one. And here we are. And it is number one. Congratulations on that. That's yeah. Are you excited about it? Or were you surprised by anything or you're just loving it? Yeah, I mean, it was it was a lot of fun to make. I had a great time making it. Um, bit of a shame that I had to release it amongst all of this. Um, but, you know, you can't win every week. And uh, But, uh, yeah, as you said, it went to number one in the UK and Ireland, which was huge for me, and finished well in the States as well. So, um, yeah, just super excited, man. It's, just, it's, uh, it's a weird time, but a good time. Normally, you'd be, like, touring and, and selling the album, right? The, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Is it hey, bizarre was, uh, now that you, you can't do that? Is it changing anything? Yeah, it's changed the whole like the rollout of the album. You know, I would have been on like the Today Show on the Plaza on St. Patrick's Day, something we had planned, for instance. Uh, wow. You know, and like all these different like radio things and TV things and uh, appearances here and there. And obviously, then uh, Mr. Trump uh, decided that we we're putting the, the border on Europe and, uh, and that was it. And then I just had to get back and just do what everyone else is doing. But not the regular release, but, you know, I've done the other things. You know, I've sat and I've done Instagram lives to 50,000 people on a nightly basis and played some tunes off the album and, um, you know, do exactly what you do, what I, you know, I, I don't normally do, but something different, kind of like what you're doing from home. Yeah, I love the uh, uh, heartbreak, heartbreak weather. And uh, I got to say, the video of you... As Dude, you're unbelievable. I, I, of course, I know you. I know you're funny, but I don't know if a lot of people know how funny you are. But you crushed it, dude. It was yeah. the best. Yeah, I, I wanted to like create some sort of character since the album was called Heartbreak Weather. I was going to like create some sort of like Will Ferrell, Ron Burgundy type character that I was going to roll out the track listing with and uh, do all these little mini videos about the weather and all this. Uh, and it, it went down a storm. The fans loved it. And it was... Uh, <laughs> I loved it too. It was so good. It was you know, so you know, good. I, so funny. Obviously, but I, I got I've known you for a couple... I've known sorry, you for a couple of years now. Oh, what do you got there? I got a golf club. <laughs> oh, sorry. wait. I got one too. Have you been trying to do stuff indoors? I, I have one too. I got to be... Uh, this is a, uh, my a sandwich. Yeah, I've got a 60 degree wedge as well. I'll Dude, just... I'm, I'm always like... That's chipping so around on the, on the carpet and like putting balls around the place. Can you Just, do, can you, can you juggle with the ball? Like I can't. Yeah. I can't do it. Oops. I just lost it. Oh. Yo, that's awesome. There we go. Oh my gosh, that's what I'm talking about. I cannot do one of them. That is phenomenal, buddy. That is so good. So you're getting a little golf in even while you're indoor at, at home. Yeah, well, I thought last week it was a, you know, before our lockdown happened here in the UK, golf was like an all right sport to do. You know, if you wanted to self isolate, you could literally walk the fairways on your own. Yeah. And I did, and I did play once, but the lockdown's in now. So I've just been kind of knocking around the house, you know. Have, are you working on your putty game at all? Yeah, I do it a little bit. I have a, a toilet roll uh, at the end of the hallway that I've been trying to hit into. Would you like to see it? Hey, really? Yeah, yeah, show it to me. Yeah, I'd love to see it. All right. Let me put, I, need to put, I need to put you somewhere. I'm going to put, put you on a book here in the hallway. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. It's up there at the very end. How long, how far away is that? It's about 25 feet. Have Should you been able to drain it yet? Should we have a go at it? Oh, please try. This would be fantastic. Tell you what, if this, if this doesn't work, this is horrendous television. <laughs> no, this is fantastic TV. This is exactly uh -huh. what... Come on. Oh, it's veered off. Oh, it broke at the end. It broke at the end. One more time, one more time. Try one more time. Oh, my God. Come on. It's so good, I got I have to see this. Glad you're getting this much enjoyment out of it. I love it. I go again. <laughs> yeah, try one more time. That was too hard, right? Uh, you gotta steer to what, what, what are you what are you hitting it into? Is it a cup? No, it was like a toilet roll down the end of the room. <laughs> <laughs>
I put I put toilet roll down here. <laughs> oh my god, that is genius, buddy. Uh, <laughs> hey, I want to say uh, everyone that's come on our show has a charity that uh, we we like to promote and 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 uh, talk about. Yours is uh, meals meals on wheels america dot org. My my daughter drew that. Um, She's done a great job. Thank you very much. Uh, well, I love Meals on Wheels, but please explain to everyone what, what, what it is and what's your connection to Meals on Wheels. Well, it's something that, you know, I, I, I'm getting into and I'm going to work a lot closer. Obviously, that's the American version, but I'm going to try and work a lot closer, especially in these times, um, these uncertain times with this charity, because uh, there obviously there's Meals on Wheels all over America, there's Meals on Wheels all over Ireland, UK, wherever you are. And obviously, the most vulnerable people right now are the elderly. They can't leave their homes. If you're over a certain age, you're told to completely stay inside. Like my grandmother, for instance, she's 89. My family members are talking to her through the window on their phone um, and stuff like that. So people like her are just the elderly in general uh, so they can get food brought to them. The, the most vulnerable are looked after and literally meals on wheels and people are dropping meals at doors. Uh, and I think it's very important because I have the means to go down in the elevator and my one time I go out a day is to go to the supermarket. Some people don't have that. So I think Mills and Wheels America is, is huge for that. Yeah, I love it. I love that you chose that. That's fantastic. And I, I think uh, it's, a lot of people are going to donate to that tonight. Uh, thanks to you. I appreciate that. The other thing, first of all, I, 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 I reached out to you just to say, hey, if you want to even stop by or do anything on the show, I'd love to have you. You immediately got back to me. Thank you for doing that. And then you also said you performed something. So you're going to perform for us later in our show. Yeah, yeah, of course. No, I love what you're doing. I've watched it every night. I love last night's song, Prom with Mom. Loved it. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> trying, and, uh, trying, I'm trying, buddy. Uh, and it's, but, it's, been fun, uh, it's been fun to see the girls and Nancy and stuff. It's been really funny. Um, so what, are yeah, you gonna do, what are you going to play for us tonight and later on? I'm going to sing a song off my album called Dear Patience. Um, I just thought I just it's it's an album track, but I just thought it's very relevant right now because I wrote it at a time when I needed to be patient. And if anyone needs to be patient right now, it's all of us. Um, <laughs> yeah. And the true. song is the song is basically me writing a letter to the feeling of patience. You know, come on, dude, let's go for a drink. We haven't spoken in a while. Um, <laughs> so I feel like we could all we can all uh, it's very relevant right now. So we can all pay attention to that, and I'll play it later. Uh, Heartbreak Weather is the name of the album. Uh, Niall Horn, you're, you're a good man, and thank you so much. I can't wait to play golf with you outside. We will do this one day. Uh, 100%, hopefully. Uh, congrats on the number one record. Uh, we love you, bud. Thank you so much. You're a great man. Thanks very much. See you soon. Bye, pal. See you, Jimmy. And now with a performance from his new album, Heartbreak Weather, singing Dear Patience, it's Niall Horn. Dear Patience Can you share a drink and let go of the pressure? Dear Patience Cause the last time that we talked seems like forever And never Feels like you don't even know me Just me and the stars can get Hey, can you show your face? Can you see that I'm anxious? Can you hear what I'm saying, saying, hey? Cause I fall too fast and I go down blazing. Can you hear what I'm saying? Dear patience, if I pour my heart out, can you keep a promise? The situation is like a mountain that's been weighing on my conscience. If I'm being honest, and it feels like you don't even know me, just me and the stars can get lonely. And hey, can you show your face? Can you see that I'm anxious? Can you hear what I'm saying? saying I fall too fast and I go down blazing. 
Can you hear what I'm saying? The way you make time disappear And I hope that I'll find you, my dear The way you make time disappear And I hope that I'll find you, my dear Patience Can you share a drink and let go of the pressure? Cause the last time that we talk seems like forever Stay safe, my friends. Thank you so much for watching, uh, either on YouTube. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you, NBC. Please donate mealsonwheelsamerica.org. This is really going to help a lot of people. Thank you so much. Uh, wash your hands. Don't touch your face. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you guys so much. Goodbye. Daddy, yeah. are you ready? Yes. Say hit it. Say hit it. <laughs>